Welcome to the newest series of the Hometown Historian, Heroines of Hometown History. Enjoy. to this new series called The Heroines of Hometown History. Uh, it's just a cool series. I think there's a lot that can be done here. Um, it is going to be one of those things that is a work in progress, uh, sort of having like a, a cool intro and then an outro with music that has pictures of some of these extraordinary women. Um, concentrating primarily on women in New York and Pennsylvania. I will branch out and uh, some of these other women that are have played such an extraordinary role in history. Some are gonna be famous, some are gonna be not so famous. Uh, the very first one that we're doing here is on Mary Lindley Murray, who's not somebody that's really, really well known. We've done a Pennsylvania historic marker on her son, Lindley, Lindley Murray, who is a famous grammar expert, uh, is considered to have put out some of the, the most informative uh, books that are still used to today on grammar and the English language. Uh, so I think this is something that's important. It's another cool series. Uh, this isn't quite going to be like the fireside chat. I'll try to do that a little different. But like I said, this is going to be one of those things that it's, it's going to be a series that's going to be a work in progress. Uh, I want to try to sort of change my uh, different filming techniques uh, and whatnot and make it sort of have a cooler sort of documentary feel, a little more professional feel and that type of stuff. So... Uh, that's the purpose of this video this is the first one in the series. So I want to say welcome to the newest series on the Hometown Historian channel, the Heroines of Hometown History. Thanks, everybody. So today we're discussing Mary Lindley Murray. She was the mother of Lindley Murray, who was the famous grammar uh, expert and the wife of Robert Murray, who was a famous and very rich merchant in uh, New York City. Uh, he also was a loyalist to the British crown. He at the time was actually in England. Uh, Lindley Murray, I believe, was still in New York City because I believe during the Revolutionary War, he and his family stayed in Long Island, but his mother stayed at their house on Murray Hill, uh, which is now a school named in her honor. What happened actually is when the British came in and took New York City, uh, when Washington retreated, uh, the last general, Major General Putnam, uh, he was at the head of 3,500 Continental troops, and they were sort of there to try to protect the, uh, the uh, rear of the line, but they were very much in danger of being captured. What Mary Lindley Murray did, according to legend, and it does sound like it's actually history, uh, she actually, General Hal was the head of the troops, uh, the ground troops, and at that time, it was very common for the, uh, you know, all the officers were gentlemen, they were uh, aristocracy, so, you know, you throw parties for them, that type of stuff, that was common behavior. So General Howe was not going to turn down one of the most prominent uh, citizens of New York City, and she held them up for about three hours to give General Putnam enough time. Another thing, the good thing to note is actually General Howe and his brother, who was the head of the Navy, they both actually had some uh, respect for the Continentals because they actually did believe that they were being treated uh, unfairly. So it's not necessarily that they didn't know what was going on, uh, but it was a brilliant move on her part. And there's actually a Daughters of the Revolution uh, American Revolution actually have a uh, chapter named after Mary Lindley Murray. Uh, Lindley Murray himself talked about in his writing a lot about his mother, about what a generous and kind spirit she was and how she was somebody that he fully respected. She was a faithful and affectionate wife, a tender mo mother, and a kind mistress. He said, I re reflect or recollect with emotions of affection, uh, and gratitude to her unwearied 
solicitude for my health and happiness. So she was genuinely a phenomenal human being and she played a major role. Like if those 3,500 troops had been captured, it very well could have changed the war. So Mary Lindley Murray, she was very involved with charity, uh, with the community and doing so much for the people around her. She truly was a phenomenal person and she did, you know, even though her husband was a loyalist, she actually held uh, quite a bit of respect for the uh, Continental Army and she tried to do whatever she could to protect them. Uh, she also had, in popular culture, they, uh, it's the basis of a Rogers and Hart musical, Dearest Enemy, and a 1957 play, Small War on Murray Hill. And they actually named a ferry the Mary Murray uh, in 1937 and it stayed in service until 1975. So that is the story of the heroine of hometown history. Thank you once again for joining us.